Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to do your migration from a JSON file, okay? So for that, what you have to do first, um, in your custom module, I already created one uh, sample JSON file to import into the taxonomy term. So next I'm going to create a, one new file called migrate.json.yml file. It's already there. I'm going to use it, okay? And that I'm going to mention the ID. It should be same as the file name. And next is, uh, I think it's label. Yeah, label. So label, um, import terms from JSON. And next, you have to mention the source as like how we mentioned in this. So source will be plugin. We are going to use uh, URL as a plugin here. So you have to mention URL here. And next, we are going to add two more plugin here. And that is one is data fetcher and one is data parser. Those two plugins are coming from the migrate plus module. So one is data fetcher plugin. So data fetcher plugin defines from where you want to you want to fetch. Okay, it is from file. Okay. So next one is data parser plugin. So this represents from which file, what type of parser we need to use it's for JSON. And next you have to mention the URL. So URL is module slash custom slash migration features slash files slash migrate json dot json okay so we mentioned the file path of the file uh, which we created to import so i mentioned that there and next i'm going to use item parser so which item you need to pass okay it's item selector you need to mention this migration in that so i want to pass this item item selector which item you want to select you need to mention that and this you need to add a field this fields uh settings you can add in all yml when you do migration migrate term entity lookup entity uh, generate or csv import or wherever and uh, in that you can use this uh, field settings when you use migration ui to see what are the imported in ui in that time this labels will be used in that display so here we need to mention it mandatory in this file when you use json so first one is name so name is a title the next one is label for it I am saying it's identifier here. Okay, identifier. And next, selector. So what is the selector for this? This is a title in J. Title, okay. And next, you need to use the same name, label, selector. So that is for description. Selector is a description. DESC of term. And next is um, I'm copying the same and pasting again. Is a parent. Parent of term. Okay. After that, uh, we need to mention the source ID. 
it's id yes id colon it's not id here it's a uh, name here name is a unique the next type type is string okay And next, you need to mention the process. So I'm going to complete the process which we used already. Mm, simple process. So destination also I'm copying here. So here, it's a title. And description is description from the selector. So here. I am using title, description, parent, right? So you have to mention description here instead of DESC and vocabulary ID and also the term, taxonomy term plugin is a destination. So next, in this parent, I want to show you one thing. So parent, I am using 24, right? So 24 is, this is the 24, the vocabulary one, okay, work one, okay? So let's clear catcher and import so that we can understand it. So it's a bit cash. CD slash C slash VAM WW. There, so it's not there, it's migration demo. So clear brush CR. Brush CR. So now clear catchy next brush migrate colon import and paste this ID here and enter. So it's saying a uh, source plugin exception name is defined as a source ID but has no value. Okay, it's a title. I mentioned okay. So let's clear catch it again. Okay, now imported successfully. The issue is uh, ID. ID is title here. So I mentioned name wrongly. That's where the issue. So let's reload here. So now you can see the new uh, term as widget is created without parent and the SP rocket is imported with the child of walk one, okay? And this is how we need to import the JSON file uh, by using migration API, okay? And I hope everyone understand it. I, I am not explaining here one by one because I already explained basic in the previous video. If you are uh, watching it without seeing those video, it might be difficult for you to understand. So I suggest you to watch the previous video. I will attach those video link in the description. After that, when you come and see here, you can understand it easily. And if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.